There's no one like you, my little girl. Your eyes so blue under those brown curls. Soon you're on your way. Promise me that you know. But you always, always check. The car's locked because you'll be worrying about it for the rest of the trip if you don't. And that's not fun. Be good, be fine, live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind, live it's your life. Rocks are meant to be picked up and thrown New ideas can be pleasantly overgrown But you know where to go if you follow that heart One step at a time we all play our part Go on now Be good Be fine Live your life Dream big, don't forget To be kind I was going to do the introduction to this back down at Seafweight Farm but so busy like I literally couldn't because Walker's code says I need to say hi to everybody that walks past me so I was literally hello 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 I've parked up at Seafweight Farm hiking up to Seafweight Fell trying to find a spot to camp up there hopefully I'll take some pictures not too sure the conditions are do all right he'd call it um atmospheric i think photographers would call this gray skies a little bit windy not perfect but could be worse You've probably seen at the start of my video, there was um, a mountain rescue helicopter, which is, you know, when you start a walk, you don't want to, the first thing you see, you don't want to see a mountain rescue helicopter. Um, it looked like what had happened is someone's friend had got lost or separated because some chap walked out the, the helicopter, rejoined a group of friends, and then the chopper flew off. Um, it blew my hat off in the process. Uh, you, wouldn't, you don't realise how much um, like thrust the, the blades create. Uh, I'll try and find out what happened. Um, I think they usually post all the rescues they do on their website, so I'll find out what the rescue was and and I'll I'll add it to this video.
here we are. This is sprinkling time. Hopes. Well, it's amazing at the moment. Like a, a few minutes ago, it was gusting, it was windy. It's proper calmed down now. I mean, the sky's a bit grey, a little bit ominous, but it's not forecast for rain. But my experience with where <laughs> my experience with weather forecasts is, you should always, always expect the worst. Like if it says it's going to be cloudy and windy, expect it to bucket it down because more often than not. That's what happens. Boom. Camp set up. <laughs> I didn't plan on recording me setting it uh, ten up, but it, it's it started raining a little bit and um this tent's a inner first tent and honestly i didn't fancy sleeping in a wet tent tonight so i, I kind of panicked a little bit and set the tent up really quickly um let me show you around so there we have it it's the tent Ooh, quite a nice little spot uh, got this nice little tarn here Lovely view over towards Seafway and Keswick. Uh, got a great gable over there. Some other stuff over here. I'm not going to pretend I know everything. Yeah, exciting. And there's not many people at this this spot. There's about a thousand tents over there at Sprinkling Town. So I know where I'd rather be. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna have a wander around with my camera and try and find a possible composition before I lose the light. Oh, there. The hazards. I'll put this down. Hop, hop, hop. You can go in there, camera. Ugh. No. I chose white socks as well. White socks. They were a bad idea. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I've not got a, an image yet. I'm not disappointed. I'm still having a good time. Uh, it's just nice being out. No be bothering you. I'm gonna finish my dinner. I will catch up later.
morning. It's the next day and I found a composition I like. Let me show you. Okay, so the composition I'm going for is, I don't know if you can see that, just looking down into the valley here, you've got this lovely ray of light shining across, a little bit of fog that creates a bit of interest in the valley, you've got Derwent water in a distance which is always amazing to photograph. The valley kind of creates this lovely V shape that draws your eye into it. I'm shooting on a 100mm f8 120 125th of a second just going to go for a single exposure on this i don't think there's any need in brackets in it i'll focus on one of the mountains in the distance just to ensure there's a sharp focus throughout the image i've got myself a two second delay on the picture so let's see how this goes lovely i hope Alright, that's me packed up. Leave nothing behind but a little bit of flat grass. I think I'm gonna head home now. Um, yeah, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.